Greetings everybody and welcome back to another episode of Serious Cubes Adventures and Simon the Sorcerer 2. Last time we talked to the clerk guy and he talked uh, to us about the contest here, so let's go inside the tent and check it out. I think the competition is a little too stiff for my liking. Hmm, lots of old wizards. Okay. And death, apparently. That's interesting. I think this one's a little past his sell-by date. Can we talk to any of these? You're looking a bit pasty in there. Now there's a guy that could do with a few home-cooked meals. Okay. Can we talk to all of them? I've got nothing to say to him. Hey man, what do you reckon your chances are? Fairly good, I'd say. Yeah? I'm an Archmage Supreme of the 68th level. Oh. That's quite good, is it? I've also bribed the judges, fixed the results, and labored for years over ancient tomes and scrolls. My life has been dedicated to attaining this position. Jeez. There could be a problem here. I'm also the king's favorite coven. <laughs> there will definitely be a problem here. I really need to thin out the competition a little. Mm, okay, I think we have to be a little bit more sneaky here. Um, oh, now let's just walk to this guy has like a ear thing. Can we talk to him? He's probably deaf. Hello, brother. What do you say, boy? I said, hello, brother. I'm not your brother, boy. I meant in the wizardly sense. Pardon? Forget it. I'm going bloody awful cold, you know. Can't smell a bloody thing. Can't smell a bloody thing. All right. Well, let's just leave these guys alone. Clearly, uh, we need to figure something out here. There's no way we can just <laughs> win the competition. I don't think. We have better wizard, but not not great. Yeah. All right. Let's just check out some places here. So, you know, this game I haven't played in a, in a while. Simon Sosa 1 I played a few more times than this one. So it might take me a bit again to uh, remember some of the solutions to things here, but uh, it should be fun. What's going on here? A little bit of a dance, dance parade, okay. Let's talk to this guy. Although he's a bit busy, I guess. Deary me, guys. Do you have to take part in this supremely sad activity? Maybe they don't talk or something. I think I'll watch for a minute. Sure. It's a great dance, I think. Not really. Oh. His stick broke. That does it. How are we going to practice now? We've got our entire stick supply. Sorry, Malcolm. Take five, I'm everyone. laughing about it. I'll try and think where we can get another stick. Yeah, he's he's definitely a bit more of a jerk now. Let's talk to these guys. You sad loser. People like you should be prematurely turned into glue. That's a little, that's pretty harsh. Nice outfit, low life. At least I know I'm not the saddest dressed person in the game now. Jeez. Come on, Simon. Can we talk to this guy again. Haven't you got anything better to do with your time than this? Hello, lad. Don't be bloody friendly to me. Have you got a stick handy, lad? No, I haven't. And even if I did, I wouldn't give it to you, you talentless peasant. That's nice of you. Look out <laughs> for one for us. Can't you even tell when you're being insulted? Are you that sad? Boy, lad. I've got no patience with Morris dancers. Jeez, okay, let's just go. Clearly he doesn't seem to like these guys for some reason. I, I thought they were fine. They're just dancing here. Minding their own business. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Street of Traders Loan Office. Oh, maybe we can get some money. Let's check that out. Oh, hello. Y you don't look so happy, Jester. Hello. Hello. Uh... <laughs> Well, this conversation's off to a flying start. Uh, would you like to hear a joke? I mean... I don't know. Is it any good? 
That's why I'm telling it to you. I'm working on some new ones because my old ones weren't funny. Okay, fire away. Right. Uh, what do you call a man with a seagull on his head? Uh, pigeon head. Pigeon head? Cliff. Get it? Cliff. No, no I'm sorry. <laughs> Because seagulls sit on... I get it. Ha, ha, ha. I've got another one. What do you call a man with a shovel on his head? Cliff. <laughs> sure. It's probably shovel Cliff? head. Doug. Uh, I think that guy needs a new job. Doug? Yeah, because he's got a shovel on his head. Shovel! Doug! Doug! See? I think I may have spotted the problem with your jokes. Hang on, I know this great story about butter! Sounds more interesting. Go on. I can't. You might spread it around! Uh, to be honest, that's not too bad. I can't believe I walked into that one. <laughs> so, what do you think? You've got big problems, mate. These jokes wouldn't amuse a little and large audience. Oh, looks like I'm finished then. That's life, I'm afraid. You win some and you lose some. Well, too bad for you, dude. Oh, what's this? A drain? Hello, let's take a look. It looks really heavy. Okay, I'm guessing I can't move it. I don't want to exert myself unnecessarily. Or, or open. I need something to lever it up with. Alright, well let's go into the... Well, let's take a look at the sign. This is the Sunshine Loan Company. Cool, yeah, let's see if we can get a loan. Hello. This looks professional. Can I help you, sir? Probably. Yeah, I'm interested in a loan. In that case, sir, you've come to the right place. What sort of loan are you particularly interested in? Uh... <laughs> One of those ones where you give me money. That's usually the purpose of a loan, sir. The important bit is deciding which of our loans is right for you. Okay. What have you got? Well, there's your basic traditional or pound of flesh loan. Further up the that scale, you've weird. got the relative collateral loan. Then there's the medical experiments loan, the first time buyer slavery option loan. We can usually tailor one to suit our specific needs. Okay, there's some uh, some weird loans here. What's the pound of flesh loan? That's our most basic loan. We'll lend you 2,000 pieces of gold, and if you don't pay it back, we can take a pound of flesh, including blood and internal organs, from your body. Is there anything else I can do for you? That sounds great. Um. Tell me about the relative collateral loan. Basically, it means that if you don't pay us back, then we send some lads around to butcher all your relatives. Is there anything else I can do? Jeez, for these guys. Hardcore. Fill me in on the medical experiments loan. Should you fail to repay the money you owe us, we are entitled to use your body in gruesome cosmetic testing experiments. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, there's one more. What's the score read the slavery option thing? The slavery option simply means that we are entitled to sell you into slavery should you fail to repay the loan. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, we have great options here. Um, let's get the pound of flesh loan. The pound of flesh loan sounds good. No problem, sir. You'll have to have an interview with the boss to sort out your application. You can go through whenever you're ready. Okay. Let's take a look at the sign here. They won it for their after sales service. Great. Look at him. Such a busy man. Combing his hair. Oh. <laughs> it's fake hair. Ah, Mr. Uh, Sorcerer. Mr. Sorcerer. <laughs> uh, just bear with me a second. I'm just dealing with a bad debt case. Oh, it's one of those tube systems. Awesome. 
Now, Mr. Sorcerer, what can I do for you? Um, where does that tube lead to? The uh, loan recovery department for mortgages. It's basically just a siege catapult up on the roof. You demolish people's houses for being late on a mortgage payment? It's all in the loan contract. Is there something I could do for you or not? Jeez. So you just shoot these things at your house, huh? Okay. You could be the butt of a few cheap toupee gags. I could. And I could arrange for you to be the butt of a variety of surgical implements. So is there anything I could do for you or not? Touché. I'm interested in the pound of flesh loan. Hang on a second. I'll just find the application form. Okay. Now we can look around in the meantime. Huh? An in-tray. Implements of it pain. It hurts just looking at them. I, I bet it does. I can't seem to find a form at the moment. Would you mind coming back later? No problem. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Let's, let's leave this place. Crazy place. Is there anything else in here? I don't think there is. Okay. Well then, so far this uh, town is pretty crazy. Let's see what other places we have to explore here. Uh, so we we just went up there. There's the swamp. I can't get any nearer the swamp than this. Somebody has built a wall in the way. Ah, come on! Always does wall building. What idiot would build a wall nowadays? Uh, let's go to the street of traders. There's probably a lot going in here. Oh, look at this turtle! Going down there, there's some birds, some pigeons, railings. Bog standard iron railings. Okay. Uh, an iron monger, let's talk to him. He's a crowbar. Greetings, humble purveyor of metalware. Greetings, traveler from another dimension. How did you know that? Simple. Only girls have ponytails in this dimension. The hits just keep on coming. <laughs> Yeah, I guess he didn't have a ponytail last time, did he? Can we take the um, crowbar? I'd better ask the ironmonger about it. Hello again. Hello. Mm. You don't happen to have any mucosade lying about, do you? Mucosade? What's that? It's super-powered wardrobe fuel. Yeah, I've never heard of it. Never mind. Okay. So, you know, Muku say it is like a, a word joke on like energy drink, but in the German version, it's actually called Betful to be like a joke on Red Bull. I don't know where they, where they changed that name. I guess it wouldn't make sense in German to use Muku say because we don't have that drink or whatever. How's the ironmongering trade? It's still as red hot, cool, and trendy as usual. It's the money that's giving me problems at the moment. How's that? Well, since the king decided to modernize the currency system, I've been totally lost. I don't understand all these dollars and shillings and things. And now I've got a tax return to fill in and I can't quite grasp it. What exactly is your problem? On tax form 331B, subsection 3, paragraph 4, it states that all figures must be submitted in dollars. I'm not sure if I've converted the other coins correctly into dollars. Maybe you can help me out. Uh, probably not, but we can try. If you can make it worth my while. Okay, then. I've got three problems to clear up. Fire away. Right. How many dollars are there in a gold sovereign? Do you guys remember? Because I don't. 15, 21, 6, 11. Pfft. I'd say 21 at a guess. That can't be right. Mm. I guess I'd better go and work on my currency units, eh? What do they teach you in schools these days? Jeez. At least I know that ironmongering is a dead-end job with no future. Well, we could go back to the guards. Hello again. Have you come to help me out with my figures? Uh, but... I think we can just really brute force it. As a matter of fact, I have, you lucky old dog. Okay, then. I've got three problems to clear up. Fire away. Right. How many dollars are there in a gold sovereign? Right, so let's just try some. 
Six. Are you sure you know what you're talking about? All right, let's try 15. I reckon 15. That's what I thought. Okay. What's next? What's 16 groats in dollars? Oh, that one. I think I know, right? 16. Wait. Yes, it's one dollar. He said one dollar is 256 pences or something, which is 16 whatever he said, I think. Exactly Should one, be one dollar. dollar. I got that too. Cool. I've only got one more to ask. I can hardly wait. How many gold sovereigns in a royal crest? 40 something? No. Ah, shoot. 25. 6 dollars. 100 exactly. Let's try 25. That's easy. 25. Are you sure you know what no. you're talking about? Let's try 200. 200 exactly. Are you sure you know? How about three? Uh, three, I reckon. I agree with you there as oh, well. There we go. Looks like I never needed your help after all. Where's my reward then? You can have this left-handed crowbar, I suppose. Why is it left-handed? Thanks, a bundle. There's a bit of edutainment for you. Yeah, sure is. It's a left-handed crowbar. Okay. What's over here? This looks fancy. Selling rocks or something. Greetings, fat bloke. Go away, boy. No one's going to come here with you loitering about. What? Can we talk to him again? Greetings, fat bloke. Go away, boy. No one's going to come here with you loitering about. Okay. Oh, he doesn't want to talk. Let's... Check out the other side. So there's a downstairs there, um, an upstairs, and a jokes place or something. Okay, let's go in here. Maybe we can get some jokes for that stupid clown. He's a joke seller, huh? What else is there? A spider hanging, uh, ooh, a poster, banana peel. It's an advert for stink bombs. Okay. Okay, it's a little bit freaky. They're not available yet. I'm still working on the recipe. All right. Uh, oh, a joke book. Can I? Can I? Uh, can I take your joke book? Hey, leave that alone. It's not for sale. Shoot, you want salad, huh? What are these costumes? Excuse me. Hold it right there. Can you see this flower? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Is this a trick question? <laughs> what a cheeky guy. <laughs> Have you quite finished? Sorry about that. <laughs> it's just my little joke. <laughs> Here, shake. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Simon. You smile at that. Oh, at least he's having a good laugh. What a sucker! <laughs> Falling for the old palm butter gag. <laughs> There's one born every day. I'm not staying here to be humiliated. No, Simon, don't be like that. Come on, let's go back inside. You can, you can be, you can do this. Well, if it isn't Mr. Sucker, Mr. Sucker, <laughs> watch out behind you. What? See what I mean? There's nothing there. Exactly. You have to be the most <laughs> irritating person I have ever met. Here's my card. Oh, man. Dr. J. Beagle, purveyor of jokes and costumes. Costumes made to order. You're a doctor? I do negative psychology. Negative psychology? I'm highly trained to bring out the worst in people! <laughs> That's freaky. Great. Right. Okay, can we talk to you? Excuse me? Why? What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I actually used that on people before. Any idea when those stink bombs will be ready? 
just as soon as I've formulated the perfect mixture. Uh, I can never seem to get it quite nauseous enough. Hmm. You should try using your personality. This is supposed to be a joke shop, kid. One more crack like that and I'll have to close the place down. Alright. He's a funny man. I want his joke book, but he doesn't want to give that to us, right? Look at this mustache, though. He was, uh, he was putting his mask on at one point. I wonder if it's like one of those things where you have to wait until he does that. Yes. Then he doesn't see it. Sucker, dude. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Just stealing his book. It's a laugh a minute. Can we use it? Like, use tell a joke or something? I no. think I'll choose to ignore that idea. All right, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to end the episode here for today. We'll check out those other two places next time and what else is in the city. And probably give this book to that not-so-funny clown or jester. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks a, lo uh, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.